All right, before we take a test on this, I would like you to get out the calculating money and glue it in into your notebook. There we go. Okay, so when we calculate money and we're adding and subtracting money, we are adding and subtracting decimals. So this is how we would do some word problems. Now when I do word problems, I like to have a highlighter or a pen or a pencil to make sure that I have um, marked all the important words. So Martin had $20 to buy lunch for his sister and himself. He bought lunch and received $4.92 back in change. How much did he spend in lunch? So we're going to do $20 that he had, there's our decimal point, and $4.92. So now we're going to do zero the hero and subtract. I ha I cannot go over. I have to borrow. Go here. They don't have any sugar. They don't have any sugar. Got to borrow some sugar from next door. And we're going to keep passing the sugar down. Zero, five, one. So they spent $15.08. On lunch between him and his sister. Number two, Grandpa bought three pies for dessert. Chocolate was eight fifty. Lemon was six dollars, so it was six dollars. Coconut was seven dollars and five cents. How much did Grandpa spend on the pies? So we're going to line up the decimal points. Add them together. Bring down the decimal. 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 7 is 21. He spent $21.55 on the pies. Last one. Kathy has $5.75 in her purse to buy pencils, erasers, and crayons. Estimate to determine if she has enough money to buy one of each. Now, if we want to estimate, this is how I would do it. I would round to the nearest 10 cents or a dollar. So I'm going to do the nearest 10 cents. So crayons could be about 70 cents or I can estimate them to a dollar. Pencils, I'm gonna look and do the closest dollar. Look here, this would be $3. And then I would look at the closest dollar here and it would be a dollar. Okay, so buy one of each. We have a dollar, we have three dollars, and we have a dollar. So that would be five dollars. She should have enough money to buy if we estimated it this way. Now if I estimated this to be two dollars, then it would be an overestimate. but we just estimated it like we usually do. So that would be an underestimate because we went down. So $5, she has enough.